Welcome back to our channel where we explore the fascinating world of electrical engineering. In today's video, we will be discussing the various methods of providing backup protection in transmission systems. Backup protection is crucial to ensure the reliable and uninterrupted operation of our power grids. We will explore four main methods: relay backup, breaker backup, remote backup, and centrally coordinated backup. So, let's dive in. The first method we will discuss is relay backup. Relays are devices that detect abnormalities in the electrical system and initiate protective actions. In the case of relay backup, additional relays are installed as backup protection devices to provide redundancy. These backup relays monitor the same electrical parameters as the primary relays and come into action if the primary relays fail to operate. The key advantage of relay backup is its simplicity and cost effectiveness. By adding redundant relays, we ensure that if one relay fails, another takes over the protective function. However, it's important to consider coordination between the primary and backup relays to prevent false tripping or delayed operation. The second method we will explore is breaker backup. Breakers or circuit breakers are devices that protect the electrical system by interrupting the flow of current in case of faults. In breaker backup Additional breakers are installed to provide backup protection in case the primary breakers fail to clear a fault. Breaker backup systems typically utilize parallel breakers that are synchronized with the primary breakers. If a fault occurs and the primary breakers fail to clear it, the backup breakers trip to isolate the faulty section of the transmission system. This method enhances the reliability of the system by introducing redundancy in the breaker operation. Moving on, let's talk about remote backup. Remote backup involves the use of protective devices located at remote substations to provide backup protection for a particular transmission line or equipment. These devices communicate with the primary protection devices through telecommunication channels. If the primary protection fails to operate, the remote backup devices receive signals indicating the fault and initiate the necessary protective actions. Remote backup systems are particularly useful in large transmission networks, where the backup devices can be strategically placed to cover extensive areas and improve overall system reliability. Lastly, we have centrally coordinated backup. This method involves the coordination of backup protection from a central location where a dedicated control center oversees the operation of multiple primary protection devices. The central control center monitors the electrical parameters of the transmission system and ensures that backup protection is available for all primary devices. If a fault occurs and the primary protection fails, the central control center triggers backup protection, which could include the activation of redundant relays, breakers, or remote backup devices. And there you have it. The methods of providing backup protection in transmission systems, relay backup, breaker backup, remote backup, and centrally coordinated backup. Each method offers its own advantages and considerations and the choice of backup protection depends on the specific requirements and characteristics of the transmission system. We hope you found this video informative and that it provided you with valuable insights into the world of electrical engineering. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest uploads. As always, thank you for watching and remember that we are on your backup.